Good evening and welcome back once again. So, it's actually been a while since I've been recording. Uh, my voice has been pretty bad and Pro Spartan Gamer just released uh, another one of his courses that he's created on PGA 2K23 a couple of days ago and I really wanted to record it the same day it was released but unfortunately my voice just wasn't up to it. So, recording it a couple of days late and I haven't been on um, 2K23 for a while. So, I thought we'd just jump in, have a look at it. I've already seen some screenshots and Pro Spot and Gamer has done a, a 20 odd minute video, like a walkthrough of the course and how he designed it, etc. I know he spent a lot of hours on this again, 80 plus hours. So, yeah, I mean, check this course out. I know it's going to be good. I've seen pictures of it. I've seen the video of it. So, I know I'm going to enjoy it. It looks spectacular. It's obviously in the theme of the, uh, the Sparta theme that he has going through all of his courses. I think this is the fourth course he's done on 2K23. Love them all so far. So I'll leave a, a link in the description below of his video. So please go and check that out. And his other videos on his other courses. Check my channel out for the other courses that I've done of his as well. I've done some walkthroughs of his other ones. But more importantly, please actually go and just play the courses. You know, go and check it out. Play the game. Play the courses. See what you think of it. But we'll just jump in and we'll see what it's like on the first tee. So here we are on the first. Now I know from um, talks that I've had with Owen, who's the postponed gamer, that originally he wanted to try and do a par three course, and he started doing that, and then he realised how difficult that would be. So he just changed it a little bit. So there's quite a number of par threes. There's quite a few drivable par fours as well, and I believe there's some par fives in there as well. If we have a quick look at the scorecard, yeah. So as you can see, you've got quite a number of par threes. The odd drivable par four. The odd par five in there. There as well so it's only actually a 66 par round normally you would find it between 70 and 72 so it's a little bit lower than normal but i'm really interested in that i love par threes so the fact that this has got more than usual is right up my street so let's just have a quick look at the the first hole overview obviously a par three 215 yards nearly it's downhill over a massive stream of water here so it's absolutely beautiful yeah, going to get some good shots in with that. Obviously, with it being called the Ruins of Sparta, he's got a lot of ruins dotted around the course, which I know is probably pretty obvious, uh, me saying that. Just wanted to point that out, that you will see some really nice ruins that he's built on most, if not all, of the holes, I'm assuming. Um, this is my first time playing it. And like I say, I haven't played in a while, so bear with me if I don't put in the best of rounds. Yeah, you've got a, a nice bunker placement here, right in, in front of the hole. The, the hole is placed towards the front of the green. The green looks like it's got some nice slopes in it, but nothing too dramatic, nothing too ridiculous or anything like that. Um, and obviously, if you come up short, you're in massive trouble. So let's have a think. Well, how do I want to play this? So potentially just put plenty of loft on it. So it's 214. Need to take about 8 off it. So yeah, I think if I play yeah about there, and obviously the wind's going left to right. Now, I might be a little bit rusty. Struck it fairly nice. Have I got the distance right? Oof, just sit down. Ah, a little bit more spare would have been perfect. Nice shot there. Um, maybe could have even tried to draw a fader in. Downhill, but like I say, there's not, at least this green so far, I don't know if he's done different T placements. I, th I think he might have. I'm, I'm sure I remember mentioning that he might have done two. Um, but if I'm wrong, wrong about that, I apologise. Oh, and that's just going to sneak around the hole there. But there we go, power on the first. Really nice hole to start with. Not too challenging, but, you know, if you get your shot wrong there, get the yardage wrong, the wind might be stronger sometimes, that's going to trouble you. So the second, shorter par three, if I can get my words out. So no water hazards, but, again, you've got this beautiful, so yeah, beautiful ruins on the left there. And on approach, oh, you've got some animals down below. So it looks like a stag and some deers. And then you've got a bit of a drop here. So I can't quite see. I don't know if there's a bunker there or not. I don't think there is. But yeah, technically it's downhill. It doesn't really look it, but it is just because of the drop at the end there. So probably want to aim just about right edge. I think I want to play it as one. I think I'm going to drop a club and just let it roll towards the hole, hopefully. So maybe aimed a little bit too far right and I've just missed that rock there. 
Lovely distance though. So yeah, just overjudge the um, the wind a bit. Overcompensate for that. And obviously this is a left to right here. Doesn't look like the green has got any massive cliff edge drops on the green or anything like that. You know, like massive uh, changes. But there's enough movement to to not be too straightforward, which is good. Oof, just crept that one in. Just held its line. So that was a nicely judged put there. But as you can see, one under. Got another par three coming up. I mean, first of all, I'm, I'm really enjoying this course so far. Um, I'm probably biased, but um, <laughs> there's a little statue here. Um, I guess that's a sparta. I don't know if he's... I mean, obviously, Owen, if you're watching, I don't know if this was like literally hand-built or if there's... Because I've never designed the course myself. I don't know how much of this is... Um, manually done or if there's like if that's an asset in the game i doubt it's just a pure asset so you must have probably done some fiddling around with that let's have a look so it's a par three it is 168 again an another lovely stretch of water and you've got this ruins on the right hand side initially yeah so it's almost like the the ruins of a castle there and it's just onto this drop of green you've got a nicely placed bunk on the right uh, and it does slope towards there and then you've got danger on the left as well so Probably if you overshoot this in any way, you're in trouble of going down these slopes. So you you certainly don't want to be too long, but at the same time, this is what you've got to aim for if you're short. So interesting. I think so far this is probably visually my favourite. Just because of this guy here and the, the ruins. Again, I think I'll drop a club, put a bit of loft on. I'm not gonna aim too far right, a little bit of spin. Maybe just overpower it slightly. Yeah. That looks pretty decent. If it just hold its line, that's fine. I'm I'm happy with that. It's safe. It's dry. Now again, this is not much movement, but if you can see, if you were over towards the right here, you would have a massive put slopes, etc. So if you find the right area in the green, you're not left with hor really horrible puts. But it's all about that approach. Get that right, and you're probably in good hands. I want to say about middle between the hole and the grid line just gonna curl in nice nice put there i mean putting so far obviously the first one i missed but it just crept around the hole and um, been pretty decent so far so par four now i can see already 293 so i'm in my head i'm thinking oh this could be drivable but let's have a look at it first so again nice really big open sort of spans what the obvious shot in here is, right, we're going to aim over here as a layup and then go over and just sort of pitch into the green or something. Again, I want to just have a good look at the course because it is beautiful. The water does look good on this game. I don't know if it's going to come across perfectly when you when it gets rendered to YouTube, etc. But it does look really good, the water. Um, you've got a bit of rock features here. Obviously, you've got the, again, the ruins hiding the green. Um, but then when you get over there, you can see it in full sight. So... Now, Owen, I don't know in your testing whether you went for this. I did watch your video, but I can't remember what you said about this particular one. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to put full loft. This will make the shot a lot harder to hit. And I'm going to aim towards this slope. Now, it probably should come around this way unless I miss hit it. I'm going to have to go for it. Um... Nope, that looks that looks good. Maybe overshot it a little bit. But it's a put. It's a put on the green. Oh, that's a nice that's a nasty downhill put. Um I've I've been lucky, or the course has been kind to me so far, but I think this puts uh now I am gonna take my time on this, so the the video might be a bit longer, but I just want to take my time on this and not just blast through it. You know, I want to have a good look at the course. I am dropping a fair bit of weight off it, so it might be short, but I think the brake's just going to push it towards the hole. No, decent line. I just needed that little bit more power. I was a little bit too conservative, maybe, with that one. Well, I was, because it ended up short, but I'm going to try and blast this one in for birdie. And there we go. Three under through four. That was a nice one to go for, but the wind was kind on that one, and I hit it well. Now back to the par threes. 
Ah, uh, so like a causeway on the left here. See if we can just have a look. So yeah, it's, it's got this causeway here, and then you've got um, it's like a bridge here. I don't know if boats can go under there or not. And then you have got a massive. It's like shielded by rocks here, and you've also got um, these stone pillars or columns in the background as well. In terms of the actual hole distance, it's it's a fair distance for a par three. So it's two, three, five. So you're looking at a wood for sure. Yeah, I don't think there's any way, even if the wind was helping. Maybe if the wind was helping a little bit, you could take an iron. But it's uphill as well. So what do we want to do here? I think I'm going to put loft on it. I know it's uphill, but hopefully if it just makes it out, if it makes it over to around about here, it should kill it a little bit. I'm going to draw it in slightly. And maybe slightly overpower it. Which mm, I wanted a little bit more than that. No, that looks good. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, that's spot on. That was lovely. Really nice par three. The, the longer par three, sometimes I do struggle with like woods on a par three. And this is a fairly straight put, maybe a slight left to right. So we'll aim just maybe a quarter ball left. Yep. Oh, I don't know. I, I I really like that par three. I'm not sure which is my favourite of the par three so far. I think that third one was really spectacular, but um, that one in terms of distance, yeah, that was maybe my favourite so far of the par threes. First of the par fives. So, I, well, first of all, there's a massive amount of water. I can see the pillars, which I think were the same ones that we could see on the, uh, the par three there. I mean, first of all, it doesn't look like anything too sneaky or hidden. There's a really well placed bunker here and the wind's going left to right so I mean that's going to be a magnet from a ball but you've also got this uh, tree section here. If I land, yeah you see even if I make it to the end I'm probably not going to be able to go for the green so I might as well lay up around about here. Right I'm going to draw it in, try and just avoid these trees which I have, nearly hit a bloody bird though on the way an eagle or a condor or something. Um, ooh, is that going to be a bit of a tricky lie? No, that's all right. So yeah, I mean, it's downhill, so maybe if you made it to the end of this initial fairway, you could go for it, but clearly I can't on this. Um, now there's bunkers here, so the question is, you could risk it to have a bit of an easier shot, but I think I'm going to play safe. And go over this way. Ooh, nice big pillar in the way there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I still think we should have a decent shot into the, the green. Like distance wise, I don't think it's going to be massive. It's just whether there's going to be anything in the way. It doesn't look like it, but still nearly 150 yards. So just remember that it's, uh, the ball's below my feet. So remember to take that into account. So I think I'm going to put, yeah, so it's beneath my feet, so this will go right, and then the wind's right, but you've got to really be careful here. I look at that drop though, I mean if you end up down there, the two putt's good. I'm going to the right edge of the bunker, I think I'm going to be more over this side. Now it, that actually does help a little bit there, so it's a little bit of a backstop, so it's not too cruel. I'm going to put that dead on 12 to 6 there, which is good. Distance is perfect, I think. Oh, look at that. Perfect distance. Just crept onto the green by a few yards, but the spin in the loft just killed the ball dead. Hopefully just tap this in. And I have. Five under. I don't know if this is just beginner's luck. Definitely not as easy, maybe, as I'm, I'm making it look so far. Par four here. So first of all, let's have a quick look at the over... Potentially, you could try and make it onto the second fairway by looks of a really short shot, maybe even like a flop. Or can you even go for the green? Or lay up massively. So this is the first fairway, so that'd be fairly safe. I mean, maybe if the wind was helping by like 10 south to north, it might be able to get on the green. I don't know. I, like, I'm not going to go for it, clearly, but... Ooh, got to be careful. Going to fade this a little bit, obviously, just to counteract the wind and just to make sure I don't hit those... Uh, those trees. Now let's hope we've got the distance right. 
Don't want it to run too much. Oh dear. I think that's okay. Though this could be a perfect flop shot actually. Yeah, I thought of 39 yards. Now, it's a good light. Um, I don't want it to travel too far. It is uphill. It should stop fairly quickly. Let's hope, hope it's not too quick. Um, oof. I took a little bit of spin off that might have rolled in towards the hole, but nice shot there. And... Potentially another birdie. There we go. I like that one because there's there's probably three ways you can play that hole depending on the wind. Um, and as you can see, I nearly rolled into the rough with that drive, so that might have been a little bit more tricky if I had have done so. Okay, so we're on to the eighth now, and it's a par three. Let's have a quick look at the aerial view. So again, lovely. I'm assuming it's a lake of water. And we'll have a look at these ruins in it a moment, but ruins just surrounding the uh, the coastline here. I suppose like a maybe a defence for any sort of intruders. Yeah, you've got the ruins of the I'm assuming like a castle here from a number of years ago. Now this one, this one is a very small green. Now it's not too far away, which is fine. You know, it's um, it's probably about the shortest par three you're gonna get um, of this type but you miss this one slightly and you're in massive trouble obviously the water is the obvious one but then the bunker do you that bunker playing a flop shot onto there is going to be a nightmare so just land on the green basically yeah oh i've had it slightly no that looks good Oh, really good. Ooh. Oh. Ho, ho. Now, the first ever course I did on this game for a pro spot game, I did a walkthrough of his first course and I hit a hole in one. And it was my first hole in one in the game. For a split second, I thought I'd had my second on a pro spot and course. And now I have hit I have hit other I mean second hole in one on one of his courses. I have hit other holes in one since. But some of those were on a course which was kind of designed for people to hit hole in ones and I but my first genuine real hole hole in one I'm still very proud of. And like I say, <laughs> I think the pro spot and gamers courses have got a little bit of good luck for me. So on to the uh the uh, last of the front nine. Couldn't think what it was called there for a second, and it's a, a par five. Again a nice big lake in the middle here. Initially, I can't see anything other than going towards this fairway. Now, is there a way of is there a way of laying up before this bunker and then going for it? I don't think that's something I'm going to do, is it? I think I am going to yeah, just try and avoid this bunker, but roll it down here. Hopefully, now the only downside for me going this way is I may end up on a fairly bad lie, as in ball above my feet most likely but I might have landed on the fairly flattish part yeah it's fairly flat now again obviously I can lay up or <laughs> or oh look at that though 73 74 that's never gonna make it is it Um. So yeah, I haven't really done any upgrades for my clubs, which I should really get back into, and I should really get back into the career mode as well, and just try and blast through some of it. Um, so this will go left or right. Ooh, so this is an interesting approach. So you've got the double, double tiered green. Now, if you can get it in fairly low and run up the uh, the green, it might be a good option. Now, four iron, I don't think it's going to be enough. Like I say, it's going to go left to right. Let's play into that and actually fade it in a little bit. And I think we... Yeah, I think we just hope we catch somewhere near either the top of the slope and it just kills it. Oh, that's spot on, that is. 
that's pretty much exactly what I was aiming for and it's worked perfectly now if I'd have been a couple of yards shorter it might have hit it and dropped down and then you've got a massive putt uphill um, even a three putt would be good down from the two tier side oh there it is so on to the back nine and we start with a par four now this certainly doesn't look oh look, there's another eagle condor someone correct me um this does not look drivable at all so got the ruins in sort of uh different tiers different stages oopsie yep yeah, more birds animals in the background as well hmm there's multiple options here what do i go for do i just go for a driver yeah it is uphill so this should i'm hoping this just makes it over the rock formation yeah but it doesn't run too far this looks like it might run a bit stop stop oh dear i'm not so worried the fact that it's in the rough it's more the fact that yeah like oh, that's okay actually that's not too bad and again it's one of these like if you somehow ended up hitting a little bit short and rolling down you've got potentially a massive uh, a massive put up here pitch shot so I think we're going to have to play this to full with that rough it's a little bit too long I'd rather be that than short no that's good that's nicely judged that little bit of loft killed it um, got this for a birdie oh ho, ho, lipped it out didn't really turn just over judged um, overcompensated rather for the right to left break and onto the 11 so par 4 let's have a look now this looks like it might be a driver but par 4 oh okay okay so fairly large fairway here a couple of bunkers really large bunk on the right there obviously right side would be a good approach but yeah and you've got all of these oh, I'm gonna have to go for this one now oh, this is gonna work out really badly I can tell uh, all of these rock formations defending the green that uh, that drop because 105 feet that's playing at about 35 yards less so that's about 155 ooh I don't know I'm going to have to overpower it a little bit ooh, that was tricky to get accurate I think we've made it we've made it pretty good that is pretty good. I'll take that anywhere on the green. In fact, even in the rough, but just dry, I would have taken. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now, that is a nice... Yeah, that is... That's tricky to judge. And, again, if the wind was maybe stronger or in a different direction, oh, you'd be right in between clubs there. Now, this looks relatively straight. Could this be the first eagle of the round? It is. It drops very nice hole that was now I can see already a nice waterfall feature in the background a nice sort of cliff face looks like the green's going to be sunken into this sort of cliff face, cliff face there yep so a nice body of water and then getting towards the green how lovely does that look um, yeah that's absolutely stunning but I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Um, I know it's got all the UI and stuff, so it will look as pretty. But um, I am going to, if anyone that's watching and has seen some of my other videos, I do tend to do, um, only on the Pro Spot and Gamers courses so far, I do a sort of epic style cinematic trailer. Um, it's just something that I like doing. I don't expect everyone to love it. But what I do is I do, um, it takes quite a lot of setup actually. Um, it takes a lot of setup. So what I'll do is I'll I'll do flyovers for each hole. Um, I'll edit them all together. I'll find 
a really nice piece of music and I'll try and edit them all together and for the shots to match the music like the different parts of the soundtrack and it's normally about two and a half minutes long and it, it takes a lot of work but I love doing it I love the outcome I've done um, two so far yeah two so far um, I will do one on this I don't know when I'll do because like I say it's a lot of effort I love doing it but I just need the time to do it anyway this is playing at about 142 and the wind if I take it now Ooh. Wind don't change. Now I'm not gonna say it how I'm gonna say it, but this could be a chance at hole in one. Oh, ho, ho. nearly called it. A little bit overshot it. I nearly put a little bit of extra loft on, but I didn't, and that's probably what just. Uh, yeah, a little bit more loft. It might have just gently rolled towards the hole, but. That, I think for me, was the most picturesque of the holes. Um, not the most difficult, but certainly the most picturesque. And this is a nice start as well to the to the 13th par 4. Um, again, it's quite uphill, so this is not going to be drivable, I wouldn't think. If the wind's helping, we'll have a look. For, just for other playthroughs. A um, couple of bunkers here. This probably looks like the most... Well, these aren't ruins, I suppose, technically, although they're sort of um, just rocks, but... Do you know what? You probably could go for that. If the wind was helping a bit, I think you could go for that. Um, in this case, we're not going to. There's n oh! I don't know what happened there. Don't go on the mugger. Bounce right. Bounce right. Bounce right. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I got a bit of lucky there. Um totally miss it that one almost timed it rather now I am on a pretty bad slope but considering what could have been this is not too bad so it's 94 yards it's playing about 100 maybe 104 105 with the wind I think I might just put a bit of D loft on that's better 10 to 12 uh, 10 to 12. 12 to 6, you don't want to hit 10 to 12. Yeah, in fact, I didn't really need the D loft. Um, so, yeah, again, you could have a nasty put from that sort of area if you end up over there. So it's downhill, it looks like it's right or left. I'm guessing a couple of golf balls right. Nice. Still not happy with the camera work. Um, nothing to do with the course. Clearly, it's just the game. But some of the putts on the uh, in very specific distances, a very specific distance range. I think around about twenty foot ish, um, and your player basically blocks the the sight of the ball as it's going towards the hole, and it's really annoying. Um, but anyway, we're on to the fourteenth. Again, a massive shot over water here. It's a par three, just short of 150 yards. And again, how how lovely does that look? Um, almost looks like a foot shape. Um, I don't know if that was on purpose or just the way it's worked out, but yeah, it almost looks like a foot. Um, and again, you've got the waterfall that I think I don't know if that's the same waterfall we've seen previously, but in the background, the rocks, these ruins here. This looks like a very dangerous green. Clearly, you know, anything right and you're in trouble, you've got the bunkers, you've got the slope. In fact, you know, if you, would you rather be in the bunker or on this putting service with that, wh exactly where that is and the pin placement, that's all sorts of trouble. This is going to play about 140. I'm not going to hit it right at all because even if it's slightly left, I'd rather be there. No, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to hit it slightly. Right, I'm going for the hole in one, I don't care. I'm not saying I will get it, but... That's a bit too hot. Ooh, that he went directly in. Well, the line was right. I think this is about a grid line. Just with that initial shape. Just 
don't know if you saw it, but I just jerked a bit on my screen there, just stuttered. After I'd already taken the shot. Um, but yeah, I misjudged that one. Wasn't quite a full, it wasn't quite the grid line. Uh, but that's 12 under through 14, and now we're on a, the par 5. I'm assuming this is the last par 5. Um, I know I looked at the scorecard, but I, I think this was the last par 5. Again, hazards there. Oh, that, that is nasty. That is really nasty. Do you know what? I'm going to regret this, but... Oh, shh. Wah. Hit the rock. Bounce. Bounce forward. What I did, but I'm in the bunker. Yeah, I miss hit that because I tried to overpower it, and when you do that, your accuracy is uh, diminished by quite a lot. So I'm going to pay for this. Um, although maybe not as much as I could have in that situation, I'm just going to kind of plonk it out. Yeah, that'll do nicely. I took the risk though, I think it was worth going for. If I hit that perfectly, would it have made it? I still don't know, I think I maybe needed stronger wind. Um, that was definitely a tempter though, definitely a tempter. Ah, okay, again, lovely shot here, the lagoon, the waterfall. I think this is fairly straightforward, just trying to get that distance right, because obviously I'm putting loft on, you don't want to stop it too quickly. It's gone a little bit right, no, that looks... So that looks okay. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'll right edge it just with, there's a little bit of creeping from the right there. Not too much. Ooh, nearly missed the left edge. So yeah, we've got two par threes and then we'll finish on the par four. And uh, I remember in his video the par 4 um, 18th and I can't remember exactly what it looked like but I remember thinking this is going to go wrong for me and I'm going to mess it up after a good round and I've pretty much called it, I've had a really good round, I'm 13 under through 16 and from what I remember I was definitely going to go for it on the 18th, um, we'll see, we'll see. So sorry, yeah, again let's have a look, par 3 it is 125 but it's downhill as well, quite a shallow green. To aim for you've got the rocks back set and the the ruins here and again water a massive feature of this course this will play at about one we'll say about 115 just towards that slope and I hope this is enough I hope this is enough come on oh I've overshot it a little bit maybe about A little bit. Oops, it's coming back. Come on, towards the hole. Towards the hole. Now. A little bit backspin, that might have come back uh, towards the hole there. Um, downhill. Again, I think we'll just aim just right side of the hole, just outside of the hole. Oh! Didn't seem to turn. Um, Par, I'll take a par on that one. I can imagine if the wind was... Yeah, depending on the wind, that could be really difficult. It's only short, but I'm not that great with pitch shots either. Oh, there's another pitch shot here, just as I say that. So you've got the par three. Again, rock formations and the outskirts of the lagoon. And it looks like... Yeah, again, a bit of a two-tier approach here. So if, if he has done two pin placements, I'm assuming there'll be another pin down here somewhere. So again, you just don't want to be short for certain... And it's quite a bit downhill, so really just getting the distance right here and, and hitting a clean shot. And I have been overhitting them slightly. I'm going to play this just towards this line, just because the wind seems to be favouring right to left. Not really at the moment, but it might change. Ah, just change there. Yeah. So, yeah, that looks spot on. Go, go. Ah. Oh. A little bit less spin, it would have just rolled a little bit after landing. Do you know what? We've been close. I mean, that didn't threaten the hole because it was short, but you know, on another day, you know, that could have been threatening for hole in one. So, this is the 18th. I'm 14 under. What would you do? Well, you'd play it safe, wouldn't you? 
No, I can't go for that, surely. No. Oh no, I definitely can't go for that. I was thinking of going for it, but I think I remember when saying that I am. Um, you know, you'd have to have the wind helping you in for a lucky bounce on the bridge, but um, that that's not going to happen. Um, let's have a proper look at it though. So yeah, you want this sort of like almost like a turret thing here. Obviously, you can lay up here. Big bunkers though. And then you've got a really nice approach into the actual fort. Obviously, there's the bridge there. But yeah, on another day, if the wind was maybe 9 or 10 helping, take your luck. Do you hit a rock? Do you hit the bridge? You might get lucky. If you were having a poor round, you might want to risk it. And you know, I was going to risk it even with a good round, but that's just a little bit, a little bit too far. Like, I know that I'm not going to make it. That, that's not even taking a risk. That's just being, yeah, it's just being daft. I wouldn't make it with that wind slightly in my face. But a good 170 yards approach still in there. And this looks like the most undulating green of the course so far. I love the approach in with this bridge though. Oop, and then the birds. When you're actually making it on the green. A lot of this filters down to this bottom plateau. Which you don't want to be on obviously. More animals. Just guarding. Four bunkers. Alongside all of the other hazards really there. So you want to be on this top tier. But that is very small. Now I think double checking because this has to be so accurate I think this is about right and a little bit aloft I want to hit I want to hit around about here just to kill it and it'll just go a little bit further right and then hit that bloody bird again now I think this is a little bit too short actually yeah yep yeah, just misjudged it yeah, so what do we want to, what do we think? I'm just trying to see see the, the the path as the ball's going, if that makes sense. Um I think about there I should get it close. Yeah, it's not the best of camera angles. I'm absolutely nowhere near. <laughs> nowhere near. There's me thinking I would you know, make a really good putt and get it close, like, you know, within two foot of the hole or something. Oh, what have I done there? <laughs> but that is the course, 14 under through 18. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Couple of times I was close to hole in ones. Had a few duff shots as well. Had a few shots where you can go for it. You can really go for it on some of the the par fours and some of the par fives onto the green and again just some really good birdie opportunities on the par threes i've had a good round but one or two of those shots you slightly miss hit and you're looking at not just bogeys like you know double or triple bogeys on some of those uh, some of those holes not all of them but some of them you would say yeah you could really get yourself in trouble let's have a quick look at the scorecard don't think i've there's too many i really threatened with a bogey there's a couple of obviously like par puts and things like that and i did get the one eagle but yeah, really happy with that. Appreciate you watching the video. First of all, you know, go check out Pro Spartan Gamer's channel for the courses. He's got videos on them as well. You know, go on PGA Tour 2K23. It's on all platforms. I'm playing it on the PC, but he's uploaded it on the PS5. It'll be on our Xbox as well, I believe. So search for Rooms of Sparta. Check out his channel for further information. I've done videos on them as well. But thank you very much for joining once again. Owen, really appreciate all the effort you've put into this. I know you've, you know, spent a lot of hours in it. And I know there's other course designers that do that as well. But I just want you to know, like, I really appreciate you giving me the heads up on these courses every time. And all of the updates and things like that. So looking forward to your next one, whatever that'll be. Maybe a while till you're doing another one, I'm sure. I'm, you probably need a bit of a break. But yeah, I'll, again, I'll leave Pro Spawn Gamers details in the description below. Please go check them out. And join me next time. We'll see what courses we might play in the future. Cheers.